about the uh, end of October, out on the lake doing some fishing. Just wanted to do a quick update on the boat. Earlier this summer we decided that the 30 horse just wasn't cutting it. By myself it was good. But anything else after that, it was a little sluggish. Just a little too slow, I had a hard time getting up on step, even changing props and everything else. Raising the motor, it helped. But just for being out on the bigger water, just a little small. So we looked at 40 horses. That's the max rating for the boat. And then we noticed the Honda 50 is just kind of a souped up 40 horse, so it's the same weight as everyone else's 40 horse. So we decided if we're gonna upgrade, might as well go to the 50. And uh, if you don't need to use full throttle, you don't have to use it, but. So that's our choice. Uh, it's only, I think it was 216 pounds for the Tiller model. We ended up getting the 2018 version that just came out. <laughs> was able to sell the 30 fairly quick on uh, Kijiji, so that was good. It was a good motor, just a little too small for the boat and for the lake and for what we do. So I spent a couple days out breaking it in, still part of the breaking procedure, so went for a run up here, up the end of the lake here. So I'll just give a quick, quick view of the motor. The tiller handle, the control panel. Shut it off here. So the one nice thing now of uh, sorry, running two Hondas is the fuel couplings are the same. So the plan before was if we ended up running out of fuel, just had a siphon hose to dump fuel in from the kicker motor into the main motor. But now I just have to switch over fittings. So that's nice, kind of a bonus. If we do end up blowing anything the Honda parts are uh, compatible, so. Well, so far, like I said, I only had it for a couple days out on the water here, so, so far my first impressions, it's really good. The extra horsepower is really nice. You just give it a little bit of gas and you're up on step. Even into a pretty strong headwind, it doesn't take much and you're up on step and you're riding on top of the waves. Instead, with the 30 horse, you're kind of just pounding into it and it was really hard to get in up on step and you just ended up trolling slow up into the chop just because it was too rough. So it should be a lot smoother ride. Right now with the stock prop, as you saw on the video, with it trimmed up and kind of flat water, it's hitting uh, around 33 miles an hour. Just listening to the motor, I, I want to put a RPM gauge on so we can figure out what the motor is running. But just from listening to it, it sounds like we could probably go up to a steeper pitch prop and probably get a few more miles an hour out of it. So that might be an option down the road if we look at getting a spare prop for it. So I think that's kind of the last project for the boat for a while. It's kind of set up now pretty nice. Fishes really well. Um, I've had a lot of comments on the boat and a lot of questions about it and my opinion of 30 horse if you're just putting around smaller lakes the 30 horse would work I'd say that's the minimum you'd want to go with this boat if it was dead empty and you didn't have downriggers and everything else you'd probably get away with the 30 if you're gonna be on the bigger lakes 40 would be the minimum and I'd even look at some other 50s as well you just have to watch the weight if you were uh, running a kicker or not. If you weren't running a kicker, then you could open it up to all the other 50 horses out there. So, 
stay tuned. There'll be some more videos on it. Some more efficient videos coming up. Should be getting pretty good here. 